Okay everybody, I thought I would try to make a video to show you how to um, vacuum seal in jars. So I've got some prunes here, and I like to put these in my cereals and things like that. And so I'm going to, I've already labeled my clean jars. I am going to fill those jars up with the prunes. You're going to need oxygen absorbers. You're going to need an attachment to your food saver or seal meal, whichever one you prefer. Um, Basically, all you do is, on this, you just take this off, you just attach that on, and then I'm going to show you, we're going to fill the jars up with the prunes. That's okay. We'll just take out of this one. Oops. Man down. Kind of even them out a little bit. And close enough. Okay. And I took some rings that I have and some lids. And what I'm going to do is put the lid on. And in these uh, attachments, for some reason, the regular mouse sealer won't seal unless you put another lid inside. So. I put my lid on my jar. We're going to put our lid on. I'm going to put this on top of it. When I put the attachment on, right like this, over here on this side of this machine, it has accessory and then it has marinade. I'm going to hit accessory for this to work. Now on this, because it doesn't seal that well, I like to kind of hold it down and apply just a little bit of pressure. <laughs> You pull this part off here, it releases the pressure, and then you take the lid off. Sometimes this seals along with it, but we just <laughs> pop that off. It wasn't as easy as I thought. And there you go. It's sealed. All the air is out of it, and it'll last a lot longer. Now you can do it this way, or you can take an oxygen absorber and you can put it in there too which just helps keep that extra air out. I use these pretty quickly so in one I won't use it but I will show you in the other one just so you know what to do. So we're just going to take these are 300 cc uh, oxygen absorbers and you just take one out and you put it in the top there because that will probably more be more of a long term storage jar. And then make sure you always put your lid back on pretty quickly so that these don't lose their vitality. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. And then we are going to put our lid, nope, wrong one. Put our lid on. Like I said, put this, this lid back in here to help with the uh, sealing process. We're going to put this back in here. It in there. It'd be nice. Put that back on like that. And again, accessory. And then I usually, I don't know why, but I like to put my rings on for everything, just so that in case the lid might get bumped and it opens it up, you know what I mean? Put the rings on for safekeeping. And again, I've got them labeled with the month and year. Got my rings on, everything is sealed. That's it.